cold is different. Yeah. So cold, the advantage of cold is that's done safely, meaning not so cold that you're giving yourself frostbite. Mm -hmm. But you have a much bigger range with cold. Options for cold are cold shower, yep. save on your heating bill, right? You could, you could do an ice bath, you could literally go buy some ice, put it in some cold water and bath, get in. That starts getting expensive though, sure. after a little while. Nowadays there are these circulating cold tubs. There are a couple of different um, ways to do that financially. There's a YouTube video that I saw of a guy who's like how to build your own cold plunge for about 1500 bucks. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, if you're handy and do a little carpentry, teaches you how to build one of those using a, a like a feed trough. I, I think thing. I saw the same one. So that's cool, I'm glad someone did that. Then the plunge, mm -hmm. the cold plunge, those guys make one. I think the range on those is somewhere between, I don't know, 3,500 and they have an XL one, which is maybe about seven. Then it starts going up. It's like Barosco Forge. Again, I don't have any affiliation to any of these on purpose because I'd like one from each one of these. <laughs> <laughs> but then I'll decide what's up. Um, okay, so uh, Morozco is great. Those are getting up towards 10, 12. And then you have like the Blue Cube, which are like the Lamborghini Jeez, of these. Okay. And, and so cold plunge is great because it, the water circulates often in these. And okay. when it circulates, it breaks up the thermal layer. You know, you get in cold water, you go like this, stay real still. You're warmer. If you want to make it harder, you move around and it breaks up that thermal layer. Mm -hmm. And okay, so why do this? Yeah. Why do it? Well, first of all, you need to do it for about one to three minutes per session and maybe anywhere from three to five times per week. But you're going to benefit even once. What happens is you get a surge of adrenaline. And then there's a study that was published in humans, European Journal of Physiology, showing that you get an enormous increase in dopamine, which makes you feel great. But unlike a drug like cocaine or amphetamine or, or something, or this, or like an energy drink where it's like a little bit of dopamine, but the, the effect on dopamine from the cold is very long lasting, two to four, maybe even more hours. Okay. Yeah. I was sort of joking about uh, energy drinks. Energy drinks will give you a surge in dopamine. Um, if it has the right things in them, and again, I'm not advertising it, so hey, I buy this. Um, You're going to get a lot of sponsors. If it has low, um, the, yeah, I like these because if it doesn't have too much caffeine uh -huh. and you sip your coffee slowly or whatever, or you take your nicotine slowly, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not suggesting people, not, nicotine can help you in certain cases, but it's the delivery device that usually kills you. But the increase in dopamine is really long lasting and it makes you alert. You feel good for hours and hours. So this morning I got into the cold plunge for one minute, just got in there. I did not want to get in, but then you get out and you feel great. Hmm. Most of the day. Like you survived. It's wild. Oh, yeah. It's really wild. The adrenaline, when you deliberately give yourself that adrenaline shot, it's really powerful. And I would say that you can't get that from things that you like. Like if you're like, oh, I can't wait to go skate this rail. Like, you know, like maybe you like adrenaline, but it's the discomfort of, I don't want to do this. You get in and then you get that that wake up shot, like jumping yeah. in the ocean or cold water. The moment you start liking cold water means you're starting to get addicted to that in a healthy way. Mm. Uh, maybe the railing is more an example of like a healthy addiction to sure. so if you make it. Could you just yeah. get in the shower and make it hot and then make it cold? Okay, it well, that, that was gonna be my next question. Okay. Because like, so, if we break this down into like, you know, skateboarders, live in an apartment, yeah. like, I'm not, I, am I going to hear from skateboarders or like into the cold plunge and the... I'm, I'm just saying like, like, I don't have that, right? And, and in my place, like, I think a good option for me to start with would be cold shower, hot shower. Perfect. So if I get in the, the cold so shower... Get honey, up in the morning. Right away. Uh, so... Rogan. Let's, let's get the, let's <laughs> get the core to back to Joe. Joe, Joe, now for, Joe Rogan forces himself to get into the cold every morning for three minutes right off the bat. Right when he wakes up. That's what he does. But he's Joe, right? And um, and for all oh, his <laughs> for all his commitments and resources, he's I mean, he pushes himself really hard, and for sure, it makes you feel ten times more motivated to do anything else because right. that's that they call them the catecholamines. It's dopamine, epinephrine, and norepinephrine. They're released in the body as a as a kind of a package of things that make you alert, motivated, all the things that you that you want, right? So I would say get up as soon as you can force yourself, take a cold shower. But wait a minute, we're looking at light first. We're drinking our coffee, no? Or you can just go straight to the cold or you can do it after the light. I'm a sunlight first thing. I'm okay. up and to the sunlight. How many minutes, if I take a cold shower, what are we looking at? Well, if it's really cold, mm -hmm. one minute, you're done. That's it. If it's not very cold or you're finding that like, oh, I can do three minutes, then okay. three minutes. 
And then are we instantly turning on the hot water? Okay, so here's the thing. If you want to... Because I like to end with warm okay. or hot water because it just feels so good. You'll still get the dopamine increase. Mm -hmm. But there's a scientist out of Scandinavia. Her name is Susanna Soberg. Um, she has really terrific work. In fact, I, I recommend people follow her on social media if they're interested in this kind of thing, mm -hmm. heat and cold. Okay. She's done some great work showing what I call the Soberg principle. So in science, you're not allowed to name things after yourself. It's considered too egotistical, but it's kind to name things after other scientists. So I call this the sober principle, which is if you want to increase your metabolism, mm -hmm. end with cold because it forces your body to heat up on its own. Okay. So you get out and you're like, oh, you can still towel off. You can put your clothes on. You move about the day. If kind you, of me with fast metabolism. Yeah. I mean, you don't have much body fat to lose. Thank Unless you're hiding it all like under that sweatshirt. It's all, in, <laughs> it's all in my ankles. Yeah, you don't have much body fat to lose, so I don't think you need the metabolic increase. Um, so what I would recommend is that you do a minute to three minutes of cold, mm -hmm. but like really uncomfortably cold. Okay. Like this sucks kind of cold. I really want to get out. We'll talk a little bit more about this in a second. Okay. And then, yeah, hit the heat and warm up and put okay. on your clothes and go. Because um, you were talking about like when you jump into the cold and then into the sauna and then back into the cold. I mean like how... Am I heating myself up and, and getting the, the, the shower into a hot, like a kind of an uncomfortable hot No, or... no, no. You don't want to burn yourself. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Not burn, yeah. but, you know, really heat. Up I, your... No, I don't think you want to do that. You know, it's, okay. it's a nice hot shower if you like hot showers, okay. just for comfort. Um, I mean, I'm not cold. trying to be funny, literally. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. Like, like, tissue damage is real with heat. Yeah. With cold, you can get away with a lot more. But, of course, you get into 28 degree water. You can get, you can burn all sorts of essential parts of your body with with cold, right? Mm -hmm. So uncomfortable but safe. And so some people say, well, how cold? Well, you only need to be in the cold for sixty seconds if it's forty degree water. If it's sixty, so some people their showers won't go that cold. Right. Then what you want to do is make it that really annoyingly not hot enough feeling and stay in there about five minutes. Because I'm just imagining like this is what I would start with or start to do. You know, I'm just imagining a lot of people listening to this are like, oh yeah, I'm with Chris. I could just jump in the shower, cold. Like I'm not going to go in and buy a cold plunge or go buy ice and right. You know, and I mean? it's a budget thing. I mean, it's listen, a budget. Five grand sure. is five grand. I mean, I'm not I'm not being blasé about that. Mm -hmm. The cold shower is a real. It's a yeah. starter kit, right? Like, you it, and you know what? Some people just stick with that okay. because you want to create the lowest number of barriers possible mm -hmm. to doing something every day. So that's like sunlight, beeline for sunlight. Or I usually, okay, if you want to know the order that I do, I get up, I probably use the bathroom, but I, I get some water, I want to hydrate. Sometimes I do put element in it. Yes, they're a podcast sponsor. But, yeah. <laughs> but, but, but sometimes I'll do that. Sometimes I'll just have water. Okay. And then I'll go outside and get some sunlight. Okay. Get sunglasses. Admittedly, sometimes I'll post on social media or look at social media. Mm -hmm. Then I go in, and I never want to get into the cold. I never want to get you into the cold. That's yourself. why I do a minute to three minutes cold shower or a minute to three minutes in the cold plunge. Because mm. I do happen to have a cold plunge. Once you've done that, the, the rest of your day will just domino into a series of better things. Just because of the elevation and mood, motivation, metabolism, and all those kinds of things. You, you also might find it's like that aches and pains, like that it will reduce inflammation. In, and it will speed the recovery of different injuries. Now, there's a little bit of debate nowadays. People are like, oh, should you go in the cold immediately after weightlifting or something? Mm -hmm. If you're weightlifting to get big, like Bebo big, mm -hmm. don't get into the cold plunge in the eight hours after you weight train. Because oh. it can it reduces inflammation, and inflammation is part of the stimulus that creates you're that You're breaking muscle. up muscles. Yeah. 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 